Hey. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Captain Sweep. How are you? <laughs> hey. What's happening? Are you are you in a green screen or no? Well, I'm just in my uh, office and in Zoom. Yeah. Change your you background. Need to get some, you need to get some green behind you. Oh, yeah? If you do green, then you won't have that bleed through. Oh, I like appearing a little bit off. A little bit funky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you look like, what's that guy? Max Headroom. You know how you do that kind of thing every once in a while? I'm not quite right. <laughs> not quite right. Not quite. You don't have, you're not fair tight around the edges so what's happening i believe um well i just getting off set i had a couple of days of performing uh creature i'm playing a creature uh i'm done now and i'm heading home i got a client tonight and a client tomorrow i've been doing psychedelic journey work with people deep dives with shamanic healing therapy it's been really powerful. I've got quite a few clients, lots of different different types of people, different uh, things that they're moving through. And so I've created a protocol called the Awakening Protocol, which takes people through a series of six sessions over uh, six months um, around the medicine wheel. So working with the, the energies of the direction. So you got south, like shedding the past and then going to Jaguar and the West, which is claiming your sovereignty and your sovereign power and voice in the world. Then you go into Hummingbird, which is connecting back to your ancestors, your lineage, learning how to fly, orienting to love, to light, to truth. As you move into the East, which is the place of the rising sun, the ego medicine, visions, dreaming the world into being, becoming a co-creator, seeing the perfection in all things, aligning to faith, walking in truth, that kind of thing. So it's kind of this spiral. And then obviously you're taking that energy from the east and you're moving back into the south, which, you know, shit happens, right? Someone dies and away you go back again and shed another layer. And so it's, it's a spiral through life and it gives you a map. And um, people are really loving it and digging it and having a lot of big healings and realigning in their life, just creating different, uh, you know, pro program. Uh, so I have like online. Uh, website that I'm developing so they'll get you know videos and resources um, that correspond with the direction that they're in and practices that they have to do to start shifting the shifting their life yeah so that's that's coming into view so that's the sky method awakening protocol and then the sky method is essentially eventually I'll teach other people to to be able to walk people through the protocol um, yeah wow Sky so I work with protocol. Sky method awaken the awakening protocol. Yeah. Do you know about December twenty first? I've heard that the people were saying that the Mayan calendar was they they read it wrong or something. It was off, and there's like it's actually going down this year. Is that is that what you heard? Well, I, that may be another layer, but the, this on December 21st, there's a Jupiter and Saturn conjunction. So like the two biggest motherfuckers in the sky are gonna come together <laughs> and Whoa. do their thing. And, it, and they have a 20 year cycle with one another. So it's, wow. it's just, I think everything, what we're doing right now is leading up to that. And then that's the beginning of a new kind of, if maybe this doorway, which they're talking about. Um, anyway, it's just a, a very significant astrological conjunction, right? Yeah, Fuck, there's so many powerful like things happening. It feels like these alignments are consistent. Yeah. Um, so that's interesting. That's right on December 21st. That's happening. Yeah. So I would suggest you to, if you're launching anything or you want to do anything, just take that into account because that's a big piece of the puzzle, I think, as a, as a timing device. Yeah. 
well, I have a, I have a business coach now and I have uh, an assistant. And so I'm just really getting more of the, you know, functionality and the sort of technical stuff worked out so that all that stuff runs on Calendly when people sign up and then they automatically get their a link to their to the Dropbox. It gives you the resources and, you know, they have a weekly video. I'll do a weekly Zoom chat, skip the uh, Jedi report. <laughs> You've created your teaching system, it sounds like. Yeah, coming along. It's definitely, uh, you know, it's in sight. You know, it's not perfect. It's I'm working things out as I go along. I'm learning things, a lot of things. You know, I'm stepping in. Like I've done a lot. Most of my sessions over the years have been people that know me, and you know, so you know, working with new a lot of new people these days. Like you know, I have to be even more on my game as around like you know, repatterning consent and boundaries, and you know you know, keeping the container really tight, lots of like follow-up care and, you know, integration work and, you know, just it's, uh, you know, you, so yeah, I have a lot to really dial that in. So I'm, I've got about seven people on the protocol right now. Um, one that's follow has gone right around and has like completely changed his life. Like fuck, he's just on, on point now. Um, and so, yeah, so, but you know, there's kind of still moments where I feel like people aren't, I just don't have the structure in place enough to uh, make sure that, you know, so the Calendly is going to really help with that so that they have their, you know, weekly, I'll have slots for weekly calls and I'll, the more that I structure my time, is, you know, really good. So that's, so I'm figuring if I can do six, 12 would be kind of like a, the next leap. And uh, it's about a thousand dollars a month. I might go up as I get busier. I've got a lot of testimonials and stuff like that, but you know, I can get up to making, you know, twelve thousand a month just doing what I love and uh, carry co you know, covers my my basics. And what I've seen so far is not it's not going to be hard to keep twelve going around the spiral, and um, and then also then I can you know do an online training and teach others to do this. So that'll be another kind of layer down the road. I, well, I've got something yeah. for you if you want. I, I created a 52-week a time calendar that oh. let, me just, let me just put it that integrates the birth, the Mayan calendar in. And I uh, it's like let me just show it to you here. I mean it's it's a bit it's more of a a physical item. Um, it's not a software yet. Can you see that at all? I've, been, I've actually thought about that. I can see it. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. So. Oh, interesting. It, at the top, you can't kind of see them, but they're the Mayan sigil for the day. So you can bring in a 20-day cycle. You can look at the people that you're utilizing and see them as one of the 20. So you might want to aim at getting 20 people and then you have one of each in the Mayan and they'll be and and I, I think that is where their superhero powers will get activated so if you can get if you can move from 12 to 20. I could get to 20 because I I so what I do is I've been spacing them out six weeks apart because uh because when you do uh 3MMC which is an analog of MDMA uh, you you need six weeks in between to kind of replenish serotonin levels and things like that. Um, but I don't only do that. I only do that work in the first session and on the last session. So um, so technically, I could uh, I could tighten it all up and do. I just have to look at it on Calendly and then kind of get the numbers and sort of reverse engineer it from there. But I think I could probably get up to twenty. But it'd really be cool if like you know, in the East work, which is really like aligning to, you know, the high, like to God's flow, right. To like being in synchronicity and, and in, in, you know, flow state essentially 24 seven, or at least, you know, getting as close to that, which I call the awakening really. It's being in that expanded, open, connected, peaceful, loving presence, you know, all the time, right. Like not getting triggered, not being pulled back into old programming, not, you know, orienting our life to, you know, reptilian agendas, that kind of thing, right? Really aligning to prefrontal cortex 
and I think that a big part of that is is synchronistic time and uh you know being able to align to that line to the energies of the day so at least even if you're you know because it's, it's sometimes it's obviously difficult in 3d to plan like that for the, the energy of the day but even if you knew the energy of the day you could be a little bit more compassionate with yourself if like you're working and you felt like it was you know not a you know if it's the energy of the day is not for work but for rest or whatever you know i, I don't really know but i know that some days just yeah. you're not supposed to be trudging forward you're supposed to be in stillness or whatever right for sure so trying to align that into the three dimension i i think it would be cool even just to start with myself like navigating that and understanding it so i know how to like support others in that process because i know that yeah i mean that was that was always what um, jose aguero's talked about aligning to synchronistic time natural time and power of that and i so yeah i think that that's that's really cool so yeah like give me your download oh well i'll send you a link to so you can download basically i've got 53 of these so i took the whole year i got the full moon and the new moon on there i've got the mind calendar at the top i've got this seven step pulse model two for the week and and then it goes personal space one-on-one space community space group space per personal space one-on-one space, community space, group space. So you can use this to pulse your people. Like you, you go in your group space week, you might go, here's here's where I'm going to do this. Community space is where I'm going to do this. Personal space, you get one week where it's more just you on your own. So it's like creating a, a 13 cycle pulse where one fourth of the time you are delegating sort of like your week to more community activities, fourth of the time more group activities, your team activities, and then a fourth is to personal space. And then the fourth is one on ones. And so you can use that as a background structure for all of us to, to pulse at the community together, to, to bring together, you know, here's our time alone and here's our time with others. And that's that to me is the big sort of background structure to figuring out how we can work together in larger and larger groups. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's definitely East work. East work is really aligning to the unified field, understanding our, our place in the circle, understanding our place in the hole, that we are the drop and we are the ocean, like being able to, yeah, we call it God potting with the five, like where we're learning how to go, <clears throat> go up and spiral up with the five, five MEO together in a group setting, sitting in circle mm. and getting into coherence where we can actually like tune in and, and, and telepathically communicate be in like be in full remembrance together in a space together mm. for longer and longer periods of time <clears throat> that's kind of some of the higher work that like once people go through the full protocol then i can start to bring them into group work so i want to get them to a certain place and you know throughout that process i can know if they're actually gonna do the work and to get there as well but yeah that feels like a really cool layer to add in there um so yeah, maybe you could send me the thing and we can have a little dive around it, what your thoughts are on it. Well, I mean, I think like I have a big pad, right? Now I've got it all printed out and it's it's got like 52 pages. It's on 11 by 17 and this is my next year. So this, this is my sort of like, you know, scheduling tool. Different than, than the computer, it's just, it's, it's just like you can, you can, you can create your patterns, you can create your structures, you can, you know, look at the whole year and go, okay, well, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do this. And I think when we can kind of see the, the whole year and really schedule in what we really want to do, that's, you know, my thing is I've been designing the ideal job. I'm looking at a course online where people can use all these tools I got and then just yeah. figure out how they want to live their life. Um, that's amazing. I wonder if you could, you know, with, with your app guy, look at calendly because i don't think calendly is a really sophisticated software but it's very easy to use and uh you know it's easy to plug into and then you know if you had that layer over top and you know integrated then because what it, the way it works is essentially like as soon as someone schedules in 
on your calendar, they get an email sent and they get added to your go your to your um, calendar, right? Right. So it's like I don't have to do all the scheduling stuff, which is fucking very time consuming as you get busier in this kind of work. Right. You, you know, you need an assistant or whatever, and if you don't have that, then you need definitely need Calendly. Right. Um, and and then also for me to be able to look at it from that point of view and be like okay, this is what I can and what I can't do, you know, and these are my spots and this is where I, you know, I got to, you know, structure in family time and like you said, community time. And so, yeah, I think that that layer is really important. I, uh, I was wondering how I was going to like layer that in, you know, I'm just starting on Calendly right now with my assistant. She's going to help me on board everything. So yeah, I'll have a repeat, a repeatable flow. Yeah, this would be more of a, the, the step before that to figure out your larger structures and probably good to, to sit down for a day or two and just go, okay, well, how is this next year going to go out, figure it out on paper, and then program that into calendar afterwards, right? Right, right, yeah. Here's where I'm available, here's where I'm not, here's where I'm doing this, and yeah, schedule your whole year, right? Yeah, the challenge with that that I would I see right up front, which would be something to navigate, um, is when I set something up, it's kind of like you can add, you know, like an event, right? And the event is that I have, uh, you know, I have Maya Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I sort of have Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday nights to do the deeper dive session. So that gives me, what's that, 16 nights a month. That's without me scheduling any sort of like community time or me time or group, you know, and, uh, and then, but you put that in there and it's, I guess I could do it every week, but it's nice that you can just sort of click the, you know, repeatable and all of a sudden it's like in there every week. So you structure that for like the year or whatever. Yeah. But I guess I could just probably do, uh, just do a longer session of really mapping out maybe a six month or a year period or whatever, I guess. Yeah. Put them all in there. Yeah. Each one has to be added separately. So it, is, it would be a bit of a time consuming thing, but yeah, that's really cool. So what are you, what are you finding the benefits of that are for you right now? Well, I mean, I just came up with it uh, within the last kind of week. I mean, wanting to do it for a long time, um, you know, just actually making them all and then printing it up and, I guess for me, it's, it's like having this, this kind of like constant moving kind of like time sheet of going, okay, well, how am I going to use this time? How am I going to use my week? What am I trying to do? And I, I have a score sheet too. So the right. score is going, okay, well, here's my, I have these one year goals this is what I'm trying to do. Here's my time. And then these are these things that I, I said that I want to do. So mm -hmm. for you, your score sheet could be, you know, your courses and all the things that you want to track as part of your business. And, and then you're going, okay, well, because I like fitting a lot of things in, like even while I'm doing, like I'm in the middle of uh, creating a, like a new model of value came in uh, a few, few minutes ago. And I'm, I'm in the middle of seeing if I could make a doodly video within three hours as a time constraint for me to do a, a productivity output. But then you could connect in and I'm going, okay, well, I haven't talked to Clint and I got him. Now I got to make that choice. Now I go, okay, well, I'll spend some time with Clint, take some time away from this. Cause we're always making these time choices, right? Of where do we put our time and what's a distraction? Yeah. What is actually more important? And you know, it's, it's, it's a very hard thing to balance, but it, to me, it's like, if you, I can go, okay, I, it's, it's really important to talk to Clint right now. I'm going to jump in for 20, 30 minutes. And then that to me with my score, she's like create a video with a secret plan member that has a high priority. So I, like I, right now I have the time translator in front of me and Hey, which one of the, uh, uh, Mayan calendar sim symbols are you? What's, oh, what's your dream spell? I know my dream spell. I'm uh, blue resonant storm. Oh, you're a blue storm. Yeah. Ah, interesting. So you're you're the same as Ramayan. Oh, really? See blue storm? Yeah. So I'm seeing all the people in my life through their Mayan sigil. I'm looking to align 20 of them 
to fit, find my my 20 superhero team. Oh, I see. So it's kind of like right. we all we all need to be part. Like you're going to have your own 20, but at some uh-huh. point there's going to be some 20s that sort of coalesce, and it's 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 like the how we build it. I think the shared knowledge community is like each of us is is creating our network. But my network's different from yours. But some of our networks are close together, and at some point we may team up. You know, depending upon what we're doing. I guess in, in, a, in one way, it's they're intersecting circles, kind of like the the flower of life, right? You're yeah. Circles within circles that overlap and intermingle, and then there's like, yeah, there's the larger fractal of that, which are then like community communities, organizations. So I always saw it was on on that level, looking at the flower of life, seeing things from that lens. It's neat because it fractals out and it's all circular and it's all flowing into itself and it's three dimensional or you know, multi dimensional. Well, and, and what you can do is if it works for you, I'll give you permission. You know, you can then send you can use the calendar system with your people. Mm-hmm. And then like the tools are meant for if I use them with you and you use them, then you can use them with your people. And that's how we get this larger and larger movement growing of synchronized timing together because the calendar system is just the the core connector of how we schedule our time, right? Mm -hmm. And, And if I look at the tools I've created, like the time translator, this new timing mechanism is the key core central reference point because i i keep creating things past it and around it and on top of it but i recently i because i'm creating this one course and going okay i've got to, i've got to focus i've got to simplify i've got to figure out how i can teach a lot of people this, the the components that they can then use to again design their ideal job and looking at most human beings right what do you want they want to create their living how are they going to do that with their ideal job but most people are trapped in a slave wage job. So they need a methodology to see their design, to see their ideal of where they're heading. And then, you know, the process to get to that. Because every- Yeah, they also, need the, they also need the energetic space within themselves. That's why the extraction and elimination process is so important because most people are so in it. They're so in the structures that they actually don't have any space to even understand where they are in life, you know? And so this, this process of opening, of awakening, of freeing up these energetic spaces um, allows them to be able to perceive and understand how they've been living from that sort of, you know, fear-based structure and, uh, and start to reorient to living the life that, they, that they're drawn to, their true authentic expression, you know? Right. So that's a big piece of it too. But then having the maps to guide them to, to do that, uh, is, that, that's a beautiful layer. Well, the, <clears throat> like, this is it, right? Like, this is the time structure. And I, I, the more, you know, when you invent something or something comes through you, sometimes you put it to the side or you, you like, if you got 50 inventions, you're working on this, you work on that, but, for me, it's kind of like, oh, wait a second, this was the beginning. This is the starting point. Like, this has to be the, the place where I offer, let's say, to the world a different timing mechanism that then we co create the new paradigm with. Yeah. You know, yeah. We, like, we have to have some methodology of distinguishing that old paradigm from the new paradigm. And that was that other map I showed you. And that, and now this is the mechanism to truly synchronize and align everybody. And that thing is spiraling too, right? It's like a universe. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's essentially like everything is in circular patterns spiraling through the cosmos at, at every level. So you're, you need to see that almost like where you'd see like at the ends of it where it comes off into like little wings, like, like the spiraling. It's, well, th- I mean, this is, I made this map a while ago and I, I don't even have the original, uh, but definitely like this is a software system right behind me, right? Like that's, that's, that's the beginning of a totally new scheduling system that takes into account, you know, the Mayan calendar, it takes into account the gene keys, it takes into account all of these other 
astrological forces and creates one holistic system where you can actually plan well according to the larger cycles that we're in. And that's what's, I think, missing, right? It's, it's uh, that 12 month calendar is, is not the same as a 13 moon calendar. Right. And you're trying to figure out how to interface those is the key, right? Because, you know, if we're living in this like scattered time frequency, it's not aligned to synchronized time. How do you like now, keep, you know, integrate something like that? So you have a, another layer that you can build upon that's more aligned, moving you towards synchronization, unification. Exactly, brother. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> well, yeah, man. I, uh, you know, every time I've looked at them in the past, the, the, you know, the law of time stuff, <clears throat> you know, it's, I get it on one level and then other levels, just like your work. It's like, really hard to fully grasp it understand it obviously you're even still still trying to you know figuring pieces out <laughs> learning new parts well it's it's a completely different worldview and i think like for me it's like when i look at my friend lisa and i see her as a yellow human like now i have the map in front of me and what i'm doing is putting the people on it so i'm looking okay miss plum like she's a white mirror and laurie renton she's a blue eagle and keisha walker's a red moon and you know uh, jordan is a yellow star and so I've, I've got them on this map. So I'm, I, and I, I haven't done this before. So I'm, I'm I, like, I, I keep coming back to, you know, certain insights or intuitions you get that are very significant, but they fade, right? And you, and you, you don't utilize this nugget that you have and you have to kind of go back and go, okay, well, what were the most significant things I've learned? What were the yeah. most important things and go back to that and go okay well here's the map and it's the people it's it's like okay there's 20 archetypes we don't know quite what they are i'm a yellow warrior you're a blue storm what does that mean well all i have to do is go okay well clint's a blue storm reminds a blue storm they are my examples of who and what they are mm -hmm. and so <clears throat> when i see the 20 of us kind of like going oh and it's a cycle and it's moving and it's like after yellow warrior is, is red earth. Okay. And then there's miss plum and then there's blue storm. So there's me, red earth is blank right now, miss plum. And then over to blue storm. And I always thought you were connected to miss plum, but on the map, you're right beside each other. You know, the white mirror precedes the blue storm. And then it goes to yellow sun, which is Do Jordan. So there's miss plum then you or Ramayan or both and Jordan. So here's three people in my life and they're actually, you know, three in a row of, of these 20 sigils. So it's, it's like, there's a great mystery, right? We're trying to figure out like, okay, these Mayans, put this architecture on this planet that wouldn't go away. And Jose Arguez came and, 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 and said that, you know, again, he said as, as space is to the body, time is to the mind. Like it's such a strong sentence, you know, like as space is to the body, time is to the mind. And so how we organize time in our mind is the huge shift point in terms of our conceptual organization of the newosphere. Like if we want to create a new paradigm, it has to be cyclical time. We have to have a mechanism that takes into account multiple cycles and then levels of consciousness. And so in the, in the center point here, where you see this blast of energy coming up in timelessness, that's the relationship with levels of consciousness. That's where you take your people is to go in there into the timeless place to really connect with who they are at a, at a spiritual deep es essence. Beautiful. So it gives it's interesting you said the body is to space because uh, that's the work that I do. I feel is really about giving the body or the body is multiple bodies, multi-dimensional bodies, um, the space that they need to reorient because, you know, we, we were such a young age when we, we bought all these programs and had all these, these like <clears throat> emotional imprints and traumas that happen. And so we've been swirling inside of this body full of all of this, all the, 
all of the interactions, the relationship dynamics, the influence that those relationships have, the un, uncompleted, uh, you know, agreements, uh, the, you know, so, so how to release all of that um, influence and, and create space inside and to the emotional energy that, that's crystallized, the, the, ar the armor, the protection armor that was, you know, put there at a certain time is no, no longer needed. But it's all essentially really creating more space so that you can actually fucking even know, first of all, like actually become aware that you are even alive. <laughs> mm. And I think that the, that a majority of the people on this planet are not even aware that they're alive. They are mm. literally just a walking program filled mm. with all kinds of emotional trauma and, and programming and, and uh, beliefs that are passed down from from outdated science and outdated, you know, cultural fucking schemes. And it's, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's essentially a mess in most people, inside of most people. And so creating that space where they can finally go, holy shit. They walk around the first in the, in the, after the South session and into the West session is really just like reorienting to the fact that they're alive and like they're breathing and they're, they can make choice and uh, they have, you know, free will and <laughs> it's incredible, you know, it's incredible. And then, you know, then you start to like, you know, invite their voice back because they didn't even know they had a voice, even know how they had a choice. They didn't get taught anything because their parents were dealing with the same fucking infliction. So now you've got, you know, generational, you know, they pass it down seven generations. So you got, you're actually not only packing around your stuff from your childhood, but you're loaded with seven generations on top of that. Mm. So, you know, creating this space inside of the self. So, you know, I'm from these, these medicine people of the Andes and from the Amazon and, uh, you know, from this East, some of the Eastern traditions, I've learned these practices of like being able to actually extract all of that out of the person and uh, give them space and give them their breath back and, and get them back into the, you know, like, like down regulate their nervous system so they're not in fight or flight and get them breathing and get them like understanding how to like you know regulate their own nervous system and to to deal with trauma as it comes and to be able to breathe through it and regulate it you know it's like it's like a whole new operating system on the level of the body really hmm well, that's, that sounds so wonderful and beautiful that you've uh, aligned your time and your gifts in such a way that now you really are teaching what you, you're meant to teach. Yeah, it's really coming along. I finally awesome. have uh, directionality. Yeah, thank you. Good thank job, you. Mr. Clint. That's, that's fantastic yeah. to hear. Yeah, it's a bit of a success. I, you know, and I still have moments where I question it all. You know, I have like, you know, like just, is this real? Is this actually happening? Am I actually doing this or am I lying to myself? Because, you know, I'm also re removing these programs, right? They, that I should be doing something. There's, there's the efforting, you know, life should be hard. You got to make lots of effort. We've been rewarded for tension. We've been rewarded for efforting. You know, what, what if life could be a flow and a grace and an ease? And like, what are all those areas, even in me still that I, I align to, but it's from a lie. It's actually from me trying to be something or trying to do something to win, you know, approval or whatever. And it's like, holy shit, you know, so I'm constantly learning even now to re-reference, check in with what's true. Um, and, and, uh, and lots of times I muscle test and I'm like, you know, not actually aligned. So it's, it's pretty wild that I could be like, that these programs are still, you know, still moving out, still, they, they are they are like an entity and they've they've been housed for long a long time many generations you know many lifetimes and so they don't really want to leave that easy and I, I i see it like you know if you were to drive down you know like uh cross-country skiers they create that track you know getting out of that track is is difficult like you get out and you can feel it and you experience it you know psychedelics give us that opportunity to expand and be in that hive mind in that bigger awareness but then we we were slot back in, you know, so it's like realizing, okay, there's the slot. There's me back on that track, which was like laid out for me by, you know, who knows how many thousands of lifetimes before me. 
And I'm now coming into my prefrontal and like becoming, you know, God awakened here, co-creating with the divine, uh, you know, aligning to that and aligning to higher purpose. And so, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely a process. And as I'm doing it with others, I'm learning more and more about the process from different angles of perception and cultural, you know, and wounding, you know, I've had a few sessions where, you know, I have, I orient to a lot more tender love in the way that I, you know, do my sessions that, you know, for some they're, they never had that their whole life. So that even like, even a touch in a certain way can trigger a major traumatic response for someone and they go into a process. So there's like a lot of learning around each individual bio suit, what it's, what it's carrying, you know? So it's like, wow, it's fucking deep process so i figure that this program will be ready in a few years really like it's a it's going to be a work in progress mm. so i like i like the idea of of uh integrating these time layers because and these maps because uh that's gonna the more that i can understand it the more i can guide people it really is giving people a new map you know i'm mean, using the circle too like all of your stuff is circles right yeah. And, 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 you know, the compass is a circle and, uh, you know, really it's a, it's a, a way of navigating, uh, you know, I mean, all the indigenous cultures use, use the medicine wheel. Uh, it, it literally is a map. It's a map and, and now adding all of those layers that you put into the map that can help understand the frequencies of the day aligned to these, you know, galactic structures and, and to how to align to synchronistic time and connection and unity because yeah there's like right now it just feels like a, the biggest piece and that's why I've, i'm so oriented towards creating community is because the biggest piece is that we can't do it alone that was one of the lies that we believed and that we are separate we're not and the hurt of one is the hurt of all we can't walk past these people that are on the streets suffering because they that is me that's another me and I, that is in me. Like, I, I can't actually ascend. I can't truly awaken until that's been taken care of. And the victory of one is a victory also. So for me to actually lift you up and help you offload some of the burden helps that, you know, you were talking about those 20 people, right? Can you imagine if everyone was dedicated to supporting each other to offload their burden and to, ride, you know, really help lift them up so that their full purpose and their full gift can be received in the, to the, in the world then we all benefit. So we're like spiraling together and the, the whole thing is spiraling together. And there's the weight that's at the bottom, which is this gravitational dualistic reptilian, you know, agenda and weight. That's like, you know, very few, but they have a lot of power or imposed power. And then you have this like ascension process that's happening. That's like, you know, the, it's sort of this involution of spirit here into the plane that's attracting us. It's kind of, we're meeting spirit. There's an evolution and an involution coexisting. And so I think, you know, we're spiraling together, but we can't actually do it until we do the shadow work and we do the, we extract this old skin. This, you know, we remove this old skin and we come out of that chrysalis that we've been in. And so that's, yeah. I love, I love talking to you because I get to, I feel like I get to open up and, share more so thank you for that. well it's it's your uh you're stepping into your true role as a teacher and it's different to there's different ways of sharing your knowledge like for your students or people going through the healing journey they're in a different space and you're holding a different space for that but you're, you're not going to share with them what you're learning as you're doing but it, it's just like as the process continues you know, there's a sort of peer to peer, wizard to wizard, or whatever is the mechanism for us to share what we're learning because our 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 knowledge is is so important. I think for our species at this time, because we're combining old and new knowledge streams. We're combining you know indigenous ways with new new ways which di didn't exist before. And so I see what you're doing is you're bridging a lot of cultures, and coming up with something new 
that is going to be for the need of the moment for the for the time that we are in because yeah. whatever whatever has occurred in the past some of those methodologies may not work right now yeah exactly it's definitely opportunistic because it's you know i mean ultimately where we want we all just want to like dance around a fire and drums you know mm. but we have we we have a job ahead of us now and, and so this is me aligning to you know sky the medic and frontline you know awakening medic and help you know you know because it's it, you know everyone's going to anyone that comes up with something like this will come up with something oriented to the way that they walk the path and that's why i'm trying to you know learn also in my you know in the beginning stages here from many different people like you were saying to have that like range of, of understanding how does a white wizard go through the awakening <laughs> You know, how does a, how do, how do, you know, all these, these archetypes, you know, go through and what, you know, maybe, maybe there is a similarity there. Maybe there's, you know, once we start to track more these, these archetypes that we'll really start to see a similarity or a, a pattern emerge, you know? Definitely. Like it's, it's a whole new world. It's a, it's a. It's uh, it's a great exploration that I think we're entering into, and it's it's uh, it's I think you're one of the premier cosmonauts or psychonauts that's following the the, the footsteps of people like Terence McKenna, you know, who who are trailblazers for all of us in terms yeah. of bringing forth the medicine and, and bringing forth a new understanding of how to use the medicine to truly heal ourselves and heal the species. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of one of my lineages is the comes from the Toltec society, it's uh, Castaneda's lineage, and they were kind of uh, gatherers throughout the Americas. They would gather teachings here and there, and in that in that lineage, they believe you should have at least three other lineage, or well, three you should at least have three lineages that you're huh. studying at any one time. So, because they they do get dogmatic, and they all have a piece, right? It's like in the Hopi prophecy, it talks about they sent the Hopi stone. In the four direction they each got a piece you know so it is a this sort of process of gathering these different medicines so you can understand how they work together and i and i'm so fortunate that i've had the opportunity by being a stuntman and then injuring myself and then going finding a, a healer and and then learning you know some of the traditional ways and these practices and, and seeing the magic happen within my own life to become a believer enough that i can uh, take people into these places now and one of the things that i'm really excited about how this this is working is that the that, you know i i work with them to get this space opened up so they be in that place exaltation like like deep surrender deeper saw that in years of ayahuasca work where everyone's coming from all over and they they go to this ceremony and you know they're nervous they're with their partner on the way there hey you can actually like fully release inside of this world like that like you just can't so to get people into that space before they engage with the psychedelic it's incredible brother i'm literally like you know full third eye openings where you know i mean through the like the rockies with these other eagles and when your third eye is fully open it's not even the screen like we have with our 3d eyes it's actually a 360 degree screen you're fully aware of everything in all directions it's, it's in, so like where we're going i've seen it i've been there i like it's this is just and uh and, and i really believe that like having that experience deep underworld you know shadow work really getting in there and really seeing those patterns seeing those lies really uh, and then also having it's like it's all the you know upper world and higher middle world experiences where merging with the infinite um, 
know, bringing that in back into to this world. Like I, I've had experiences recently where spirits come at me with like somebody that's deeply in fear and just like raged towards me. And I can feel, I can feel it dissolving their, their trauma just by connecting with them from that place and watching them just de-armor those places. They don't pull me back into those places. Very little. I find myself once in a while, I have certain moments. Like if I, if I'm watching, you know, conspiratorial stuff or, You there? Yes, about three or four. The last three or four minutes has been very blotchy. You, you, oh, were, okay. saying, you were saying wonderful things, but but we <laughs> we missed yeah. it. I think. So, anyways, yeah, it's been uh, been good chatting with you. Um, how how are are you doing? Any gatherings to like help people on board more with it with these times? I, no, I, I've been pretty much reclusing and just spending, like I'm just focusing on my own stuff to get it ready. Like I, I, I've, I've never really spent the time to, to really make the videos. And I think I got this new program, Doodly, that brings in caricatures and stuff. So it's, it's, it's simple. And so I, I want to create something that's simple that explains this thing behind me. So I'm working on, on that where you take one layer at a time, say this is this, this is this. This is this. Yeah. So, and then yeah, putting it yeah. in a course. Yeah, you got to be really basic. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, cool. Um, are you working with any specific, pr like, uh, software or anything? For yeah, it's course? it's called Doodly. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a fun program that does caricatures and brings in you know wherever you see that whiteboard where somebody's writing and they bring in people. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah basically does that so i can i can sort of create my own scenes and i'll send you oh, cool. i'll send it to you as i make it but uh oh, cool. at some point i'm going to have like about 10 or 20 videos that all are each one is explaining a piece of the puzzle and then all will create your ideal job so it's oh, like cool. you know, there's like a hundred million people out there unemployed right now because of this covid crisis so we need a methodology to show them how to create something in a new paradigm right so the, the yeah. time exactly yeah and yeah new systems <laughs> uh, it's a bit of an interesting you know the, there's a uncertainty in the in the middle of a change like this where it's like the, there's where they you know flipping the page but we're right in the middle and we I can't see the other side yet it's like mm -hmm. you know but we're getting i think we're all getting little pieces and that's what we got to trust too that we don't have to know everything we just know have to know which piece is ours and what's coming through us and what wants to be birthed through mm. us and through our you know knowledge network right which which email should i use to send this to you uh clint at unify.org okay so i'll send this to you and if you want uh like i would suggest to take it to a printer and uh print it out and then Go from there. We can, you know, you can always give me a ring if you want to figure something out. But uh, mm -hmm. cool. um, I'm again. I'm just. I'm starting to correlate to bring together 25 years of work into one package, and 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 uh, hopefully by the new year have something like yourself, which I'm offering to the world. Um, I've been working closely with Luciel Foundation, and they're the they brought together 12 spiritual elders from across the planet. So I'm yeah. I'm, I, I'm a member of that. I'm a member. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I'm working yeah. with their with their core team to create the new program for the next year for them. With uh, oh really? With, with, with who? With uh, Olivier and Sophie and oh, yeah. and uh, it's beautiful. Like it's it's uh, again. I don't know how how quite I got there. And there's some other uh, great facilitators, and we're coming up with a program that's utilizing some of the stuff. So. And I, I have huh. to my blocks to like at every meeting I want to go or I, I just see my my instant out in group situations like there's all these reasons why it's not going to work all these reasons why and this time I'm just going no I'm just going to keep going I'm, I'm going to keep going and then last meeting I facilitated it. it took him through the conversation types took him through you know the planner uh it went quite well i pitched them on the synergy wheel for the inflow matrix and put them in their places and they, they seem to like that so it's 
I mean, I'm learning how to do it a step at a time in a slow sequence and just kind of check <laughs> and not just give it the wrong time and then say, ah, you guys don't get it and walk away. <laughs> so it's, uh, we'll see, we'll see. Are you frozen? Hello? <laughs> 